Have you had a chance to watch uh, Victor Wembanyama play yet? Yeah, I watched a uh, little bit of the game the other day. They play again tonight, right? Uh, yeah, he's like the 2K creative player. Every point guard that wants to be seven foot Chico type vibes, but he, he's 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 a solid talent. It's great to watch. They had a it's a pretty entertaining game uh, with the Ignite team, so it's dope. And I had the chance to watch him play 2021 a uh, year ago for the first time because my brother, my little brother, Costas played in Nashville and they were teammates. Uh, he's, he's incredible, man. Like, I believe in 2045, everybody is going to look uh, like Victor, you know. Um, but the way he skills, the way he can shoot the ball, the way he can move, uh, he's extremely fast for his size, can block shot, uh, can be a threat uh, in the offensive end. Uh, he's, he's unbelievable, you know, and uh, I believe it's no matter time for him to, you know, be in the league. And uh, uh, for him, the key is to just keep getting better, keep staying humble and stay healthy. You know, a body like that with a skill set like that, as long as he stay healthy, he's going to keep improving, uh, keep enjoying the game as much as he can. And I think he's going to be, you know, he has he has the chance to be one of the best, not in his age or not in Europe, one of the best to ever play this game. Like we have never seen something like that before, you know. And uh, I think it's a good challenge for everybody around the league to have somebody that's seven two be able to shoot over you, to dribble like he's a guard, to block shot, to run down the floor uh, fast. Uh, we got to get ready for this kid, you know. He's going he's gonna to be really good. And have you gotten a chance to see Victor Webanyama yet? Yeah, of course. How can you miss him? What, what have you thought from what you have seen? It's that type of talent and skill and... It just puts a smile on your face if you play basketball, you know, because you know, the evolution of the game is taking us this far. You know what I'm saying? We've got seven, five dudes who's able to do everything on the court, you know. So he's inspiring to, other, to a lot of people out here. I heard a comment he said, like, um, somebody compared him to a few players in the league. And he was like, I think I'll do myself a uh, disservice if I compare myself to one or two players he want to take from everybody. And I thought that was such a profound statement and uh, made me a big fan of his. So the league's, the league's really in trouble when he comes in. We'll, and I want to see how it plays out. And um, everybody's been excited for his, uh, his arrival to the league. So we'll see what happens. Were you able to catch Victor Minyama last night? I did. Um, yeah. What did you think of him? And, and also, not just on the court, but you at one point were, you know, the it guy coming into the draft. Like, I wonder if you could share a little bit about what it's like to be in that position, if, if you can think back that far. Uh, what do I think of him? I think probably the same as everybody else think. Um, you know, everybody, you know, we've been labeling like this unicorn thing. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like, like an alien. Um, I've never seen, no one has ever seen anyone. Um, as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful he is out on the floor. I mean, that's 7'4 or 7'5 or 7'3, whatever the case may be. Um, his ability to put the ball on the floor, um, shoot step back jumpers out of the post, step back threes, catch and shoot threes, block shots. Um, he's um, for sure uh, a generational talent. And uh, hopefully he continues to stay healthy. That's what's most important uh, for him personally. And uh, but you can tell he loves the game. He was smiling a lot by playing the game last night. Uh, I think it was the two best players in the draft uh, on the floor last night. They both did their thing, and it was. Um, um, but he's a big time player, and uh, Scooter's a big time player as well. Um, for me, what I went through, um, I just I think God, I didn't have social media. That's all I can say. Um, I can't imagine what my life would kind of, how would have been different or what would have transpired with me with social media. And, um, but I'm, I'm happy I didn't have social media and I'm happy I was from a small town of Akron, Ohio. It definitely just kept me in the bunker and, and kept me locked in on what, uh, what the
the task at hand. Um, as a 15, 16, 17, 18-year-old kid, it made me lock in.